in time. We are doing accounting work, so in between you are listening a lot of time, many times that there is discount. Today we are going to focus especially on different types of account. First type of account is known as rate discount. Rate discount whenever you are going to buy some goods from the market in any shop, so that time you are having an estimate in your mind to buy the goods. But when you are listening in the shop that there is 10% rate discount on the purchase of 10,000 or goods more than 10,000. So that time you are deciding that I will buy 10,000 goods, 10% 10, 10 discount is there, I have to pay only 9,000 rupees. Now suppose you had estimated in your mind that you will buy goods of rupees 8,000 and you went to buy the goods. After seeing the signboard that this type of offer is there, then you are purchasing 10,000 rupees goods and you have to pay only 9,000. By paying 1,000 extra, you are getting 2,000 rupees goods extra. So what actually this trade discount is? Trade discount, it is the discount allowed by seller to his customer to increase the sales. It is calculated on list price but not recorded in accounts book. What is the format of it? First of all, we are supposed to note down the list price of the goods. Here I have given some waves in figure. It is means you are writing some amount. It is 1 lakh, then you have to write 1 lakh. It is 2 lakh, then you have to write 2 lakhs. And from here you will list percentage of trade discount on list price. Whatever percentage of trade discount is given in the question, you have to put that. Suppose 10% trade discount, then list price was this. On this price you have to calculate the trade discount and you will subtract it from that total list price and whatever amount comes that only will be your net sale or net purchase. One thing note in mind that always sales and purchase is recorded on net price on net price what is the net price net price is the price which is calculated after deducting trade discount from the list price of the common entity that's all cash discount so another type of discount is known as what cash discount cash discount is always allowed by the creditor to his debtor for getting the prompt payment what is this prompt payment? Suppose you are telling to your customer that if you pay amount within one week, you are giving seven days time. If he is ready to pay within that period, then only you will give him some discount which is known as cash discount. It is always calculated on the amount to be paid in cash or to receive in cash from both the side. From purchaser point of view, from seller's point of view, from creditor's point of view and to from debtor's point of view. How it is calculated is format is given here. List price of the goods first of all we have to write. If amount of the goods is given there then you will write this place the list price of the goods. First of all you have to subtract percentage of trade discount from the given list price. Then you are getting the net price. If it is purchase then you will write net purchase. If it is sale then you will write net sales. And from here you will deduct the amount to pay or receive in future. Suppose the customer is not ready or the debtor is not ready to pay the full amount in cash right now. He tells that 40% I will give now and 60% I will pay in future. If he is giving only 40% now, 60% he will give in future, then we will allow him discount only for the 40% paid by him. That's why the amount which we have to pay or receive in future, we will subtract from here. And this amount is known as gross amount to receive or pay in cash right now. Whatever amount we are going to pay right now or to receive right now, on that only we will allow the cash discount. Now you will subtract the percentage of cash discount from this amount. This was the gross, why it was gross? Out of this we will get some discount in the form of cash discount. And when you are subtracting it, you are getting net cash received or net cash paid. That's all. Good. Now, we understood two concepts. First was what? Trade discount. And second is what? Cash discount. Trade discount and cash discount is theoretically very much clear to you all. Now, with the help of this illustration, 
you will understand very clearly. What is this question? Sold goods of list price rupees one lakh to Ram. What we have sold? We have sold the goods to Ram of how much? One lakh at twenty percent trade discount. We are giving him the trade discount how much? Twenty percent and five percent cash discount. We are giving five percent cash discount also. Ram paid forty percent in cash. If he is paying us right now forty percent in cash, then it means sixty percent he will give us in future, and we will allow him cash discount only for the amount which he is paying us in cash. Now from the working it will be more clear. Working is here. List price of the goods in the question was how much? One lakh. That only we are writing here. One lakh. List price is here. Now you see twenty percent trade discount given in the question. How much trade discount was there? Twenty percent. So twenty percent trade discount on this list price one lakh. It will be calculated and it is what twenty thousand. Now twenty thousand will be subtracted from the one lakh list price. After subtracting, we get net sales. We have sold goods of one lakh, but at a trade discount of twenty percent. So net amount we are supposed to get from Ram was how much? Eighty percent. But Ram, it is given in the question that he will pay only forty percent. If he is paying forty percent right now, then how much he will pay to us in future? Sixty percent. How it will be calculated? You see here. From hundred, if we subtract forty, then is equal to what? Sixty. So this sixty percent amount, amount to receive in future, amount which we are going to receive in future is how much? Sixty percent of the net sale. This is eighty thousand. This calculation is forty-eight thousand. Now after subtracting forty-eight thousand. You are getting a gross amount to receive in cash. How much? Thirty-two thousand. Why this is called gross amount? Because from here we have to subtract the cash discount. And cash discount given in the question was how much? Five percent. This five percent cash discount will be calculated only on the amount which we are going to receive in cash. So we are going to receive thirty-two thousand in cash. On this, when we are calculating on thirty-two thousand, it comes sixteen hundred. We will subtract this from the thirty-two thousand. The net cash received in our hand is almost thirty thousand four hundred. Now, rest of the things will be clear from the entry. Finally, you receive how much amount in cash in hand? Thirty thousand four hundred. The debit what comes in? Cash is real account, so cash account debited with thirty thousand four hundred. You have allowed him discount. When you are Allowing discount to someone that means you are losing that much amount. It is loss for you. So discount allowed nominal. So it will be debited by one thousand six hundred. Now Ram is still your debtor for the balance of the amount which you will receive in future. So in future you are going to receive from Ram how much? Sixty percent of amount due. That sixty percent amount due was here how much? Forty eight thousand. This forty eight thousand is again debited. And total sale is what? Eighty thousand. When you sum up everything, and you see, I have told you that always sale or purchase is recorded at what price? Net price. What is net sale here? Eighty thousand. When you add these three, you are getting eighty thousand. Then sale is our income. It will be created, and narration will be being goods sold at ten percent TD, five percent CD, and forty percent amount was received in cash. That's all. Now, cash discount is very clear to you with. this particular video of trade and cash discount